families losing loved ones in deadly car accidents in Hampton Roads. A News 3 investigation is looking into some problematic intersections, and these are the top crash locations in Virginia Beach, which with Indian River Road and Kimsville Road ranking number one in 2021 with 49 accidents. Investigative reporter Margaret Cavanaugh has been digging up data from around the region and speaking to people who know the intense pain that accidents can cause. I was just eight, but I do remember that night vividly. Halloween 1970, the oldest of six, Charlotte Rose Wade went out with friends after taking her siblings trick or treating, but never came home. Her death was sudden. It traumatized us all. And that pain is felt by many families across Hampton Roads. To be that young, to lose a sibling, and you know, the way it happened. The 15 year old was killed by a drunk driver near Burton Station in Northampton Boulevard in Virginia Beach. Most crashes and deaths are going to occur here, Fairfax and Richmond. That's just year on year on year on year. That's what happens in Virginia. News 3 started investigating after we witnessed multiple accidents near Collie Avenue and 25th and 26th Street. Norfolk City officials provided the data over a two year period, about 34 accidents, but that location didn't even make the top of the list. These complicated interchanges create high likelihoods of crash. And yes, don't get me started on five points. Norfolk police provided us with the worst crash locations in the city, topping the list Northampton Boulevard and Wesleyan Drive, followed by five points, then North Military Highway and Little Creek Road. And as you can see, that list goes on. And the DMV also tracks this information. You can go online and search an area or city and find accident information. In 2021, you can see in Virginia Beach clusters of accidents near on ramps to 264. And in Hampton, many of the accidents happen along West Mercury Boulevard. Urban areas, lots of traffic, lots of exposure to other vehicles. Those are the natural areas where there's going to be crashes. Dr. Brian Porter with ODU has been studying traffic for 30 years. He says despite that fewer people were on the roads during the height of the pandemic, experts found that the fatality rate spiked because people were driving more recklessly. Porter says when it comes to accidents, there are many factors. The age of a driver matters. We know that uh, the gender of drivers matter. We know the driver experience matters. By the way, politics matter. All of those things actually predict public health and safety and predict safety on the road. I am excited. And to make one intersection safer, the city of Virginia Beach recently put up this crosswalk, the same spot where Charlotte Rose died 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. A long time coming. Linda Carrington gathered petitions and fought over the past 20 years for this crosswalk. Oh man, it makes me feel so good. It makes me feel excited. Whenever we go to pass or through Northampton, you can't help but be, and hope and pray that that never happens to another family. Coming up tonight at 6 p.m., learn how you can help reduce this problem. More about where those problematic intersections are near your home and your place of work. Plus, hear more from the family who lost a loved one decades ago. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.